No, 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 no. It's not ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's just spelled that way because, well, it's ridic. Yeah, that's not confusing. twisties and um, places to hoon and some parking lots to do photos. It's, it's a good spot to uh, work with and love and enjoy cars. <laughs> cars uh, currently. I have a 2016 Focus ST uh, that I acquired last year um, as well as a 2015 Mustang GT performance pack um, that I call the Verdict and uh, I've aptly named the um, Focus Buster <laughs> after, after the Fast and Furious obviously because uh, to me you look at the car and it just says Buster. I don't know. I don't know what, how to explain how I came up with it. So, Buster is, a, a, you know, everybody knows about the ST, it's a 2 liter small turbo, uh, it's got a Cobb Stage 1 kit on it with an access port intake and a motor mount, a uh, little axle back exhaust that I got done at the muffler shop for I think 100 bucks or something, I just told them to cut the muffler up and put in a, put in a live pipe, it was pretty simple. Exactly what I want to do with it yet. Yeah, it's still kind of up in the air if I'll even keep it for very long. It's just, it's kind of been a daily driver and uh, I'm just kind of enjoying it. I'm enjoying having something that isn't, you know, making me deaf and uh, <laughs> I can put the dogs in and work out all my equipment and go to work. The day I was driving the Focus home, 
uh, I was kind of bummed. I traded in my other Mustang for it, and I was missing that car already. I was kind of having, you know, buyer's remorse, but I pulled up to a light, and there was a Camaro RS and a 2005 Mustang GT and the Porsche 928 behind them, all revving their engines like they were ready to roll, and so we all kind of made our way post haste and uh, well by the time we got to the next light <laughs> I had uh, a couple confused looks from other cars and then the guy in the Camaro said that thing hauls ass and I was instantly cheered up. Uh, got a blow up valve on it, makes a nice little turbo whoosh every time you lift the throttle. <laughs> As far as like doing the work on the cars, I don't think I've ever really hired anybody to do most of the stuff I do. I mean, I did, I did hire the muffler shop to do the muffler on the Focus because I didn't know how to weld at the time, but after that I kind of said, well, maybe it's time I learn how, you know, get it figured out so I don't have to pay anybody to do it anymore. I can have that fun. It's, you know, I like working on cars as much as I enjoy driving them, and at the end of the day it's a huge satisfaction to you know, put new parts on and get them set up and take it out and it works perfectly. You know, I've done things like swapping cams in a parking garage in the middle of the night and, you know, I had to, because I had to drive the car the next day, but I didn't, I wouldn't have, you know, learned what I know now if I hadn't done things like that and try and keep things up and running and, you know, I've started out on something small and kind of worked my way up. Um, the verdict is a uh, 2015 Mustang, as I said. It's uh, it's got all your basic quintessential kind of Mustang mods, um, intake, tune. Uh, it's got a really loud exhaust. I don't really think you should buy an exhaust to be quiet. In terms of power of the car, you know, similar cars, similar mods. You know, these new Coyotes easily make 400 horsepower to the wheels. Um, so. That's, that's what I'm calling it. Uh, I don't really dyno the cars or anything like that. And to me, that's just a big uh, who's got a bigger member sort of contest, a popularity contest. I don't really, I don't really pay attention to that too much. I pay attention to uh, how it feels when I'm driving. <laughs> sort of average car guy that I like I like a lot of things if not everything and I don't really have hate or uh, contempt towards any car I'm Ford Chevy Dodge Honda Nissan Toyota Infiniti you know Land Rover Range Rover Jaguar Mercedes Ferrari BMW it doesn't matter what make it is I you know it's it's hard for me to find a car that I have to say There's something good about everything, is kind of the way I think about everything. There's always good in people, there's always something great about a car, and there's always a silver lining. Yeah. You know, 
sometimes bad things do happen to people and things, but uh, you know, good things are usually right around the corner. And uh, you know, it could be something like you know, oh, I'm gonna sell my car. That's a bad thing. But you know, three weeks later, you got something brand new that you love or new to you that you love. And it's amazing, and it's a whole new experience. ask me like, you know, I'll just get back from a road trip and I've been on the road for 20 hours and they, they ask, you know, hey, aren't you bored of driving yet? Like, that's pretty, that's a pretty long haul and, well, no, I could turn around and go right back. I mean, for me, it's, it's complete harmony and I'm content and I'm incredibly happy being on the road and being in my car. That's, that's kind of the whole point. I mean, I drive the cars I love because for me, it's freedom and car and it's freedom in the driver's seat, it's absolutely 100% freedom behind the wheel, you know, that's why I love it.